fry dinner, fire can catch a super easy travel up the stick. Boom. I love this. That is very nice right there. Oh, it still works. Put that out. Okay, let's go find some sunshine. The, uh, for a lot of things, but I bet you didn't know you could start a fire with them. So you can put a little water in your baggie like that. Smoke so fast on this. That's what you need right there. If you can't get a fire going that way, something wrong with you. What's going on, folks, and welcome to the video. We're up here in the woods today, and oh, it is so beautiful. It's dark, it's deep, we're all alone. And yeah, I'm hot, yeah, I'm sweaty, yeah, I worked hard getting up here, but oh, the reward, this is it, right here. So, so happy you're with me. A couple of fun things we're going to do today, nothing too serious, we're, we're here to play around, have fun. Um, some fire starting techniques today, so a couple of traditional things, things you've, I'm sure you've seen before. A couple of uh, unconventional things too, and again, maybe you've seen them before, maybe you haven't, but they sure are fun. Number one way always is a lighter. You see me in my video, start my fires with a lighter. It's fast, it's simple, it's reliable, and you should always have in your bag as your number one fire starting source. That's my opinion. Um, but, you know, those things aren't foolproof. They can get broken, they can run out of fuel. You could forget them, you could lose them. And if you find yourself in a situation without them, sure it's nice to have some backup ideas. Like I said, some of these are traditional, and we're only gonna do a couple today, not a lot. The more of these things you see, the more of these things you learn, the more prepared you are for different situations, various materials, conditions. So that's the name of the game is just always learn something new, always have something in the back of your mind, in your bag of trip, tricks. So like I said, so happy you're with us. We're going to jump right into this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise you that. Okay, so first things first, tinder. There's a couple things I picked up on the way in here. So I've got some grass here which is really really super dry really fine leafed and a little bit of coarser grass it's more of the stem material and then i don't even know what this is this is just some bark frayed material that i found on the ground coming in these things are going to be great for a tinder nest so number one you got to have some super good tinder okay so here's the deal flashlight regular flashlights you're going to have probably in your pack somewhere hopefully and uh piece of gum aluminum wrapper it doesn't have to be a piece of gum all kinds of candy packaging um, dried foods camping foods all kinds of things come in aluminum wrappers like this I like the gum it's easiest open up your flashlight you don't need that you don't need that that's what you need right there double-a battery one of them's gonna do you the uh, works like magic Take your gum, unwrap that. I need that anyways. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Take your foil, unwrap it, boom, like that. Tear yourself off a strip of a, about, you know, quarter inch wide, three eighths of an inch wide, something like that. Like so. Stick the rest of this foil in my pocket. We're gonna need that again. Hold your gum paper in half like that. Now you're gonna tear this kind of like that on both sides, leaving a narrow piece, maybe an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch wide connected in the center. Okay, kind of tough to show on camera. You can also do this with a knife. Yeah, those will be just fine tearing it like that. As long as you're careful. It gets pretty fragile when it's that narrow, so just be careful. All right, unfold that thing like so, bang that on your battery like this, foil side two on one side, foil side two on the other, boom, there's your fire, all right, so that's what we're going to do, let's throw one on this tinder nest, see how easy it is to get it going, another little piece of foil here, all right, one more time, Get your one side on there like so. Before it, connect the other side. Get it down to your tinder, tinder bundle like that. Connect. Boom. Oh, 
That works so stinking well. And I have no idea why that's so fun, but I love that. Oi, still works. Put that out. All right, one of the things we're gonna be doing is making feather sticks. Uh, just as a like a tinder cheat aid to help us get our fire going. Uh, really, really cool idea. Just need a couple dry sticks. So it's real simple, you're just gonna take a stick, shave it, and make a bunch of curls on it. You know, and obviously the idea is those small curls catch fire, go up the stick, and it's just a good tinder builder. Now sometimes it takes a little bit of time to prepare. Uh, so if you've got a bunch of small dry sticks like this around, way easier to, to build your fire lay with those. Uh, but if you don't, and you you know material's wet, you can still pop a couple drier sticks off of a tree, make some feather sticks, and it'll help you out a little bit. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Just get started. Um, just as an example, so you're going to take your sticks and just kind of start shaving them like that. And try to make some small curls. And so, something like that, if you can see that. Yeah, you need more of those, but the idea is then that, you know, those are small, easy, dry, tender. The fire's going to catch those super easy, travel up the stick, boom. Okay, so here are our completed feather sticks. Ugh. I've got one that's a little bit bigger that I built, as you can see, just full of curls and shavings. And some other ones... Little cute guys. The uh, you can make these all sizes. Uh, people will make these real big. The uh, but I've just got some little ones today. I don't want to start a huge fire. I'm just playing around. All right, let's get this thing going. You're gonna set your your sparking strip right at the bottom of the tinder bundle like that, and just start wailing away on that. If you can't get a fire going that way, something wrong with you. Okay, let's go find some sunshine for the next one. Okay, this next way, super fun. So this is a type of a solar file. We're using a water bottle full of water here. The uh, ridiculous, but you know, a lot of places you're out, you can almost always find trash water bottles laying around just because you know people are jerks and leave junk around you know, but if you really need it other super fun way so just have a block of dry wood here i just need to shave some a little bit of tinder off of this thing for us to use Okay, so you're gonna need a nice sunny day for this, of course. The, uh, you know, humidity and cloud cover is really what matters the most. You know, you just want as clear of a sky as possible. The uh, temperature doesn't really matter. So, I'm gonna try to, you know, just find a point where you can focus your, you know, you're gonna use, obviously you're using the bottle like a lens. Use the point where your light's focused, looks like your light is focused the most singular point boom smoke already now so just keep your keep your beam focus there and you just want to leave it there in your little tinder pile for a while till it builds a big ember and they're looking for a nice wide ember that chars the shavings and then coalesces into a clump or co coalesces into a, a big ember. And that, you know, you could just drop right into your tinder pile and boom. So cool. 
I love this. Look at her smoking. Okay, once you have your ember pile going there, I like to test to see if you got a good ember by adding some more material on the top. And if that burns into the pile, which is what it looks like it's doing now, you got a good ember going. So we're going to get a little bit more material burning in that and get that into our tinder bundle. Tinder bundle ready here. Okay, now, boom, check that out. Okay, the next version of the, uh, of the lens, making a, a solar fire, or using solar heat to catch your ember, a Ziploc bag. Almost always I carry these things in my pack, a couple of them for this or that, they're convenient. The, uh, for a lot of things, but I bet you didn't know you could start a fire with them. So you can put a little water in your baggie like that. Try to drop it down in one corner. And then, it's okay if you spill some water here. You want to try to twist that thing. Nice and tight. Not too tight so you, you don't want to pop it. Um, until you get a lens shape like that. Okay, that little air bubble there is a problem. You can't really have that air bubble in the lens. Try that again. So that thing nice and tight. So you want to get it nice and swollen so you have a really good lens shape. You don't want to get too hard or you pop it. Wipe that water off your bag there. You do not want a drip of water landing on your ember while trying to get this fire going. <laughs> you would be sad. your lens down here find the point where it's best focused Ooh, smoke so fast on this Tinder bundle together. Ember. Roll that thing to your tinder bundle. Tap your tinder free, your ember free rather. Wow. Instant. That ember was so hot. I didn't even have to add any extra air to the 
tenderness to get that rolling. Plastic bag, little plastic Ziploc bag and some water. Wow. <laughs> that fire doesn't want to quit. The, uh, that was fast. So fun too. So fun. That was so much fun, but that's it for me. Hope you guys learned something. Got a couple more tools for your tool bag. If you liked the video, and I hope you did, give it a big old thumbs up on YouTube. I'll catch you next time. I'm out of here. So happy you were with us. What can I say? Yow! Well, that's not gonna work.